the general addition rule of probability for two events. If events A and B are mutually exclusive, any two events that cannot occur at the same time are mutually exclusive. For example, when tossing a dice, the outcome one and two cannot happen at the same time, so they're mutually exclusive. So when the other outcomes, when tossing a fair dice, the outcome one, two, three, four, five, and six are all mutually exclusive. If we define event A as the outcome one and B as the outcome two, we have A plus B, which is equivalent to one over six plus one over six, which is one over three. Taking that, we can easily see that, well, if we add all of the outcomes together, we get uh, one over six plus 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 one over six, which is one. If events A and B are not mutually exclusive, then A or B equals A union B equals A plus B minus A intersection B. To better understand the addition of probabilities of two events, we can simply use dice tossing as an example. Let's say, when tossing a fair dice, we know that the outcome can be number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. And the probability of each of these outcomes is 1 over 6. We define an event A to be the set of outcomes 1, 2, and 3. And define event B to be outcomes 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the question is, what is P, A or B, or A union B? According to the mutually exclusive rule, A equals 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6, plus 1 over 6, which is 1 over 2. And B is 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, which is 2 over 3. So A plus B would be 1 over 2 plus 2 over 3, which is 7 over 6, which is greater than 1. This isn't right because per the property of probabilities, the sum probability of all possible events is 1, so it can't be greater than 1. So what's wrong here? For a solution, we've stated that there cannot be duplicates when adding both sets together to avoid double counting. In the solution we see above, there's a duplicate of the outcome 3 in sets A and B. So to fix this, we have to remove the duplicate in one of the sets, per stated by the general addition rule by probability. So according to the formula, A or B equals A union B, which is equivalent to A plus B minus A intersection B, we have a equals 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 1 over 6, plus 1 over 6, plus 1 over 6, which is 1 over 2. For B, we have 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, which is 2 over 3. Since A intersection B is 3, that means A intersection B is 3, which is 1 over 6. So A or B equals A union B plus, which is equal to a plus b minus a intersection b, which is 1 over 2 plus 2 over 3 minus 1 over 6, which is 1. We have visited the union rule with two events. So now let's investigate three events, a, b, and c. What is a union b union c? For example, uh, we can start with set of integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Each time we can select a number from set F. We define event A, which is a selected number 1 or 6 or 7. So set A is 1, 4, 6, or 7. Similarly, B would be 2, 5, 6, or 7, and C, 3, 4, 5, and 7. So for set A, 
of whom the one, four, six, and seven are exclusive as you can only select one number from set S each time, according to the exclusive rule. Since each time we select one number from set S, so um, each outcome has the probability of one over seven. A is 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7, which is 4 over 7. And we also have the B, which is 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7, which is also 4 over 7. Same for set C. So A union B union C is 12 over 7. This is not correct because set A, B, and C are not exclusive, and there are duplicates in these sets. So similar to the two events, we have to remove these duplicates as well. To find the duplicates, we find that set A and B both have 6 and 7. So A intersection B, which is 6 and 7, um, accordingly B intersection C has 5 over 7, and A intersection C has 4 and 7. Now we have to remove the duplicates from a plus B plus C, and we have a new formula for the three events addition rule. B plus B plus C minus A intersection B minus B intersection C minus C intersection A. Calculate um, A intersection B, B intersection C, and C intersection A as follows. Because A intersection B is 6 and 7, A intersection B uh, is 6 and 7, which is 6 plus 7, which is 2 over 7. So accordingly, this follows for B intersection C and C intersection A, which both equal to 2 over 7 as well. So A plus B plus C minus A intersection B minus B intersection C and minus C intersection A equals A plus B plus C minus 6 minus 7 minus 5 minus 7 minus 4 minus 7, which is 12 minus 7 minus 6 over 7, which is 6 over 7. And this is still not right. Notice that outcome 7 belongs to all three sets. It is the common element of all the sets. So when we remove the common outcome, it was removed three times, which means now it doesn't remain at all. So we also need to add A intersection B intersection C back into the end of the formula. So the final formula is A union B union C equals A plus B plus C minus A intersection B minus B intersection C minus C intersection A plus A intersection B intersection C. So the final calculation is the intersection of all sets is seven. So the union of all sets equals A plus B plus C minus A intersection B minus B intersection C minus C intersection A plus the intersection of all sets, which is equivalent to A plus B plus C minus 6 minus 7 minus 5 minus 7 minus 4 minus 7 plus 7, which is 1. So this is correct.